Hey, happy Saturday to you, to all my social media family. So I'm making this video in my car because today has been a very productive and busy day. I literally have no makeup on and I know myself well enough to know that if I wait to get upstairs and put some makeup on or whatever, this video is not happening. And I don't want to keep this lesson from you guys. I made a commitment. I want to keep it. So um, here we go. Uh, no hashtag no makeup Saturday. <laughs> um, guys, go ahead and comment below as you're chiming in, and let me know what what fun thing are you doing today? What are you doing with your Saturday? And um, so I can uh, so I can see what you guys are up to today on your Saturday. I was working on a photo shoot today. So much fun. Um, so lesson number six is surround yourself with people who support your goals. Um, This is really important and I have found it to be very, very uh, critical. Now, I'm not saying that you can't achieve your goals around people who are doing the opposite of what you're doing or who are unsupportive of your goals. That's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm simply saying that it's a lot easier and it's more helpful If you surround yourself with people who support your goals, you know, um, like for me, I told you yesterday in my video, hey, Tish, how are you? Um, Hey, Dan, how are you? Uh, Thanks for chiming in today, guys. I hope you're having an awesome Saturday. Um, As I mentioned in my video yesterday, you know, I love ice cream and gelato. Hi, Chris. Um, And so it's challenging for me to be around um, a lot of ice cream, gelato, chips, and stuff like that. It makes it harder for me when I have to put that, when I put that temptation in front of my face. So I don't buy ice cream and I don't buy chips. I don't, I don't buy that kind of stuff and keep it um, in my house because I know that temptation is going to be sitting there for me. And so it's a lot easier when I have people in my life and um, around me who are supportive of that goal and who help me and encourage me. Hi, Sheena. How are you? Sheena, I just want to say thank you for always chiming into my videos. I so appreciate you, my friend. Dwayne, what's up, my friend? How are you doing today, this Saturday? Uh, thank you for chiming in. Um, so back to the sub- subject. Um, it, it's much more helpful when you have people around you who are supporting your goals, who believe in what you're doing, and who are going to encourage you when you're faced with that decision, like I was today because I didn't have any groceries at home, and I've been super busy out uh, out and about all day, and I promise you, I had that moment where it's like, do I just stop and get a cheeseburger and fries? Do I just stop and get something easy? And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So I stopped and got some fish and some veggies. And I'm getting ready to go inside and cook. Hey, Megan, how are you? Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I say all that to say you want to have people in your life who you can count on to, to be there for you in those weak moments, those moments where you just want to throw in the towel. You don't feel like keeping to your commitment. You don't feel like keeping to your goals, um, you know, and with like workouts, it's really helpful for me again to to go to a, a class or to have a workout partner or something like that where I, I know that someone else is counting on me to be there. So it helps me and encourages me to keep my commitment and be there as well. So I want to know what are some of the things that you do um, to help you stay focused and committed to your goals, committed to your commitment? What are the things that you ask other people to to support you in when you're shooting for a goal, um, whether that be f- towards health and fitness, um, financial, something with your um, your business, um, let me know. What are the things that you ask people to support you with and, and that you ask them to do to uphold you um, and keep you accountable? I trust that you're having a phenomenal weekend. And if you're not, I'm going to send you prayers that it gets better from here on out. Uh, So I'll let let you get back to your Saturday. Thank you for chiming in with me. And I will be back with lesson number seven tomorrow. Have a phenomenal rest of your evening. I'm about to go cook some food now. Peace.